Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones. I am Neg Primer, and we are continuing on into episode 4. So when we last left off, uh, we had just met up with Danny, with Daenerys Targaryen. Do the dead frighten you? Is that... I don't know who said that. Because every single other one of the rest of these... They, uh, they have who they came from. Even these next ones, I believe. Yep, yep, yep. So. Alright. So again, if I talk about any spoilers, we're only going to cover stuff that's covered into the game or the TV show so far. So anything the book is caught is more advanced i'm gonna try to withhold the spoilers uh i actually will even try to kind of avoid spoilers for the most recent season as well and it's kind of weird because we're at a point now where book the books in the show Previously are pretty different so my father is planning to make a move against your family he knows all your weaknesses all your plans because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. Lord Grove. It's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People around here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. Perhaps we'll remain allies after all. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Malcolm! That made it seem really bad. Are you gonna be a good little forester? Learn your lesson? And stay down. Don't think this is over, Roderick. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. Ah, oh, come on. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. <laughs> That's a dick bag. Uh, uh. So yeah, he ran like a little bitch and tattled on me. Now they're going to blame me for killing him. Even though I literally did everything in my power, I died several times trying not to kill him. See it jitter every once in a while. I hope that's not going to be an ongoing thing. I knew you were a killer. The day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... And we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now... You've killed one of your brothers. 
You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut on this one. You don't even have the courage to admit what you did. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go on, then. Finn was only there at the very end. You had your say. Actually, I was there the whole time. Oh. Then tell us. Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said. Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... for some reason I can't fathom. Finn's just being a good brother. I think... <laughs> you know, what's die and just... I decide what justice is. Garrett killed the man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. Well, they all think Jon Snow's mission is I like knew a suicide it was a mistake mission. mistake to make you a ranger. Crossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrett, you told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrett. I thought you were going to be by my side at Crestus. I'm sorry I let you down, John. I didn't mean for it to come to this. You gave me your word, Garrett. It can't have been easy. Facing the man who killed your family. Aye. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? God's be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Okay, right, but Let's they all... Go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. I mean, at this point in the show, nobody really likes Jon Snow all that much. Okay. So, yeah, this theme song is a uh, copyright notice, so every single time the first video in my series is, uh, has a copyright called on it. That's okay, though. It's really been rather fascinating doing this series because every single time uh, I get a copyright claim, it's like, wow, that's... That's so bizarre. You would think that, uh... You'd think that game makers would at this point plan for Let's Players. But it does not seem to be the case. Like, Nintendo gets all the press as being a really bad one at it, but they're not the only ones that are... douchey about it. I have song copyrights on almost a, on a large portion of my videos. Not almost all of them. Not even close to half, but a significant portion. Alright. So yeah, this is where we left off last video, I believe. Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. 
You don't want to see what I do to liars. Then maybe you should get to know me better. I'm not like those other men. You sure look like the rest of them. Covered in dirt. Yeah, we were attacked by one. Your reaction says otherwise. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go what? On. Unless you are afraid. A man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Ashley. Yeah, I think we're gonna... I'd rather not. You're smarter than you seem. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. Then you are wise to keep your distance. You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. Well, how about you, I've heard the this story burn before. on the back? Yeah. I'm going to need more than that. Let's start My with friend the burns. Is the burns to it's likely to leave a scar. Your dragon did this, Your Grace. Well, he wouldn't. You must have tried to fight him. What have you done to him? If you hurt him, hurt him. He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, Selsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? Lies? You want gold? A title. My undying gratitude. Uh, there what we do go. you want from me, Asher Forrester? My little brother was murdered in front of his family, and our youngest is still held against his will at our enemy's house. What is it you expect me to do? We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. If I also came here looking for an army, but what I found. With the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marie. That is their mission. Your yeah, need is not can... greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. I would only need a few men. Those who follow Croft could come with me. The rest are yours. They are all mine. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me. I feel like she's acting harder than this than she has been in the show for like years. There's more passion than her voice. See them out. I faced a dragon and live. Nothing in Marine can be worse than that. How bold of you. You forget that is my dragon you boast of defeating. When did I say be nothing more? Yeah. Pesca here, she has a history in Marine. She could help guide us. What the hell? <laughs> <Is this true? laughs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the second sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is I got a birdie on my shoulder. Saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you 
or you won't be going at all. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. Why? If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. Alright, so we're breaking into Marine. Say, I don't think we have Look, much of a choice. I'm sorry, it happened this way. As long as you get your arm, right? Best get. get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we got a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. <laughs> Nail! We got two more! Why do I don't feel like nothing's gonna go as planned? Back in Ironwood. <laughs> In the Ironwoods, whatever. Ironwood Grove. It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. Are you sure? Because it kind of looks that practical. way. You got the best of Griff last time. When he comes looking for revenge, do you think you can beat him? He'll be angry, looking for revenge. Sounds like you prefer Roderick stay down in the mud. Look at me, Roy. Can barely hold this damn thing, much less swing it. So, you're gonna give up then? There are other ways to fight, my lord. Such as? You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? Throw your poop at him. I'll show you. Okay. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Get brisky. Let's do this. Ouchies. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Okay. Oh, e damn it. I was waiting on Q. <laughs> Let's try it again. God damn Almost. it. <clears throat> again. <laughs> now that's how you do it. <laughs> Will you let me? Oh. Ouchies. My leg. My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena? She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, hey, I babe. hear we're to become sisters. Talia. Oh, come on. Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. Your dad's gonna be a dick, isn't he? You remember my little brother? Quiver? Good gods, you've grown. Quiver? You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I've missed you, Elena. Oh. <laughs> I've missed you too. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father you were disobeying Griff's authority and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? What? Blood threatened my family. 
told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. Tell him not I to be such to a pussy. The arrogant pig eyed prick. Lena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help, but my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. You'd murder a man to prevent your marriage. I know Griffith's horrible, but to go that far... You don't know what it's like, Roderick. You get to decide what you want to do and who you want to be. I'm expected to have my life decided for me. You wouldn't have to do it yourself if you didn't want to. We have a way around that. Okay, a bunch of archers. You brought your men. I command father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. Why he'll still have my little brother? Look, Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. Yeah, except the other girl. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. Will you help me? I'm sorry. I won't make that promise. You're a bloody coward! Arthur, would you give us a moment? I know you have to think of your family, but... I don't have a choice here, Roderick. The thought of him touching me, calling me his own. I won't live like that. We don't have to murder Griff. I can use those soldiers another way. Can How? we? I've thought about it, and this is the only way to be sure. What else could you do to stop it? I know it's... It's drastic. You'll just have to trust me. I don't know. You know me, Elena. What other choice do I have? All right. The guard is yours. Thank you, Elena. I just hope that when the time comes... Thanks, babe. You'll do what must be done. I guess part of me still hoped that when this was over we could... play hide-and-seek in the grove again. Like we used to. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I'd like that very much, Elena. Then you know where to find me. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Good job, buddy.